Spies, betrayals, plotting, and political intrigue. That's what must be coming up next as I continue with the next set of 10 questions from Carl Shoup's book, Test Your Bible Knowledge. The questions follow the books of the Bible, and I know that this section of 1 Samuel is full of plotting and betrayal and political maneuvering by Saul as he tries to retain control of his kingdom. These are some of the best stories in the Bible, and hopefully I'll be able to answer all the multiple choice questions correctly. I was able to get a perfect score last time, and if I get all of them correct this time, it will be the first time I've made a perfect score twice in a row. Now, all of these questions include a reference from the Bible, so if you want, you can read about the details behind the questions. I'm ready to tackle the next set of 10 questions, and I'll start with question number 321. Question number 321. David's best friend's father turned out to be his A. Benefactor, B. Enemy, C. Teacher, or D. Brother-in-law. And the answer here is B. Enemy. I believe that this question is referring to Jonathan, and Jonathan's father was Saul. So the answer for 321 is B. Enemy. Number 322, the only marriage present Saul asked of David was A, Goliath's head, B, David's lear, C, a hundred foreskins of the Philistines, or D, a hundred Philistine thumbs and a hundred great toes. And the answer here, I'm really certain, is C, a hundred foreskins of the Philistines. Question number 323, Saul repeatedly attempted to kill David by A, poisoning his food, B, pinning him to the wall with a javelin, C, persuading him to be reckless in battle, or D, inducing in him suicidal tendencies. Okay, it it is not D, inducing in him suicidal tendencies, and it is not C, persuading him to be reckless in battle. I'm really sure about this one here. I believe that it's B, pinning him to the wall with a javelin. So for 323, my answer is letter B. Question number 324. David would almost surely have been killed by Saul had it not been for A, Saul's son and daughter, B, David's brothers, C, David's father, or D, Samuel. And I'm not really sure about this one. I know that Saul's son, Jonathan, tried to help David, but I'm not really sure about his daughter. I can eliminate David's brothers. I don't remember them being mentioned in the story, and I don't think that it was David's father either. It could have been D. Samuel, but like I said, I'm not really sure about this one. I am going to go for A here just because Saul's son, I know for sure he tried to help. So for me, 324, I'm going to write down A as my answer. Okay, question number 325. When Saul, like his messengers sent to capture David took to prophesying when he saw Samuel and the prophets, David, A, took the opportunity of imprisoning Saul, B, forgave Saul, C, persuaded Samuel to drive the evil spirit out of Saul, or D, fled to Jonathan for help. Now this one here, I also don't remember the answer to the question. I don't really remember what happened in the story. But I think that we can eliminate C, persuaded Samuel to drive the evil spirit out of Saul. I don't think that that happened. It could be B, forgave Saul, but I'm not really feeling that that's the answer for this one. And I'm fairly certain that it's not A, took the opportunity of imprisoning Saul. So I'm really left with D, fled to Jonathan for help. And I know Jonathan did help him out. So for 325, I'm going to put down D as my answer. Question number 326, Saul pointed out to Jonathan that as long as David was alive, Jonathan would A, never be Saul's successor, B, be in danger from David, C, be suspected of improper affection, or D, participate in patronage. And I think that the answer here is A, never be Saul's successor. I can remember in the story that David was in line to be the king, and that would have ended it for Jonathan, who was Saul's son. So I'm going to stick with A, never be Saul's successor for my answer here. Okay, question number 327. David feigned madness to escape from A, Saul, B, Akish, C, Doag the Edomite, or D, Jonathan. And it's not D, Jonathan, and it's not Doag the Edomite either. 
And I'm sure that it wasn't A, Saul. So that just leaves B, Akish. So I'll put down B as my answer for 327. 328. David's repeated successes in escaping from Saul's pursuits were never due to A. Warning from the Lord B. Philistine raids C. The prophet Gad or D. Paid informers Wow, another tough one. I do not remember exactly what was behind him escaping from Saul so many times. So I'll have to do process of elimination here. I believe that I can eliminate C, the prophet Gad, I don't remember that as happening or him getting any help in escaping from Saul from the prophet Gad. And B, I don't really remember any Philistine raids interrupting Saul's attempts at trying to kill David. And paid informers, I don't really recall that. So that just leaves me with A, warning from the Lord. And that does seem to make sense. So for 328, I'm going to pick letter A and we'll have to see if that is the correct answer. So 328, I'm picking A. 329, David passed up the chance to kill Saul in the cave, A, for the same reason that Hamlet passed up his chance to kill Claudius, B, because Saul had too many followers with him, C, out of sympathy, or D, because Saul was the Lord's anointed. And I really want to go for D, because Saul was the Lord's anointed. And I do recall the story, but letter A, for the same reason that Hamlet passed up his chance to kill Claudius, I'm not really sure about that. B, because Saul had too many followers with him, I don't think that that came into play here. And C, out of sympathy, it could be the right answer, but I'm going to stick with D, because Saul was the Lord's anointed. So 329, I'm sticking with letter D. 330, David would never have been able to convince Saul that he had spared him, had not David done A, that for which his heart smote him, B, that which he had planned just for this argument, C, something in jest, or D, more than his men had urged him to do. Okay, another kind of a tough question I don't really remember. I remember what David did. He cut off part of Saul's skirt or something like that, but I don't remember why he did it. So I'm going to have to start eliminating some of these and see something in jest. I want to throw that one out. It just doesn't seem to fit. And B, that which he had planned just for this argument. I don't think that that's the answer here either. And A, that for which his heart smote him. I'm not even sure about that one. And D, more than his men had urged him to do. Man, that doesn't really seem to fit here either. So that process of elimination didn't help me out too much. I'm going to have to just pick one here that looks like the best answer for this. I guess for this one, I'll just pick C and we'll see if that is the correct answer here. So for 330, it is C, something in jest. Okay, and with that, that makes 10. And I will go back to the answers that are in the back of the book and I'll see which one of these I answered correctly. And the answers are waiting for me back here in the back of the book. And we are at the very bottom of the first page of answers. And these questions will take us on to the second page of answers. So I'll look here for 321. And the correct answer is B. And I answered B, which is great. This question was the one David's best friend's father turned out to be his B enemy. 322, correct answer is C. And I put down C. This question was the one about the hundred foreskins of the Philistines, and that's the only marriage present that Saul asked of David. 323, the correct answer is B, and I put down B. That question was the one about Saul repeatedly attempting to kill David, and it was by a javelin. Question number 324, the correct answer is A, and I put down A. That question was the one about... Who was helping David when Saul tried to kill him? And indeed, it was Saul's son and daughter. Question 325. The correct answer is D, and I put down D. That question was the one that I was really not sure about. It was what David did after he saw Saul prophesying, and he fled to Jonathan for help. So that was the answer for 325. 326. The answer to that one is letter A. And I put down letter A. 
And this question was the one about Jonathan never being Saul's successor as long as David was around. Okay, 327, the correct answer is B. And I wrote down B, which was the one about the person in front of whom David feigned madness, and it was B. Akish. 328, correct answer is D. And I put down A. So let me see what this question was all about. It was the one David's repeated successes in escaping from Saul's pursuits were never due to. I put down A, warning from the Lord, but the answer is D, paid informers. And I do not really remember that happening in the story, so I'll have to go back and check. But I'm sure he's right, and it is D, paid informers for 328. 329. Correct answer is D, and I put down D, and this one also I wasn't really very sure about, and it was the reason why David passed up the chance to kill Saul in the cave, and it was because Saul was the Lord's anointed. So that's good for me. 330, the last one, the correct answer is A. And I put down C. And that question was the one that I was unsure about also. And it was the question that read, David would never have been able to convince Saul that he had spared him had not David done. And I thought it was C, something in jest. But in reality, it was A, that for which his heart smote him. So look at that. And Here again, I really don't even remember. Like I said, I remember what David did, but I don't really remember the entire circumstances around that. So out of that set of 10, I was able to get eight of them correct, which is an 80%. And that is again, my typical score. So this time I won't have a perfect score two times in a row. I'll have to try to get that next time. Well, the next set of 10 questions will wrap up the book of 1 Samuel, and we'll learn more about David and Saul, and we'll also learn about witchcraft in the Bible. 